Hey, it's Jaime with Echo Real Estate Advisors. Welcome back to video two of the AdWords series. So if you have not viewed the first video in this AdWords series, I highly encourage you to go watch it. After you watch this one, we can go back and, and take care of that one, but certainly watch the first two before we move on to the third video in this series. So there's three videos. The first video covered more of a macro level, more strategies, various strategies that we're gonna deploy. Um, so go and watch that video. In this video, we're gonna do a bit more prepping before we actually start creating an ad. So we're setting the foundation, not theoretical foundation, we're actually setting a practical foundation that we're gonna need in order to create our AdWords ads. So let's just dig in. All right, the first topic or the first item I wanted to cover in this, in this particular video as we're preparing that foundation is talk about messaging. And what I mean by that is you can either be a buyer or you can be a seller. So you as an agent or you as an entrepreneur, somebody that provides a service, you want to know your your customer you want to know your ideal avatar your ideal client so knowing who you're marketing to is going to take is going to help you out dramatically so for our purpose and for this mini series we're going to target our home sellers and our home sellers can come in various different ways but that's how we're going to that's who we are targeting that's the people that we're trying to reach to. And as we're doing our research in our keyword, um, in our keyword search and who we want to place our ad in front of, we're gonna keep that in mind. And beyond that, we want to provide something of value. We want to have a, a lead magnet. We want to provide a service that people can that people can gravitate to. So that what that means is if you want to provide a CMA, a free CMA, which is a comparable, comparable market analysis, if you want to provide a seller cheat sheet, if you want to provide um, a saved home search, which, well, you're more on the selling side, so you want to do a home selling guide, something of value, an ethical bribe that's going to really encourage your audience to act. At the end of the day, that action that you're looking for is them reaching out to you. If they call you directly, fantastic. But if not, you want them submitting their information, whether it's an email or a phone number, that's, that's all you can ask for. So you can start either the drip campaigns or calling them directly and doing the follow-up. So know who you're targeting. In our case, we're gonna, we're gonna target our sellers. And the ethical bribes that we're gonna offer, we're gonna offer several actually. And that's what I like about Google Ads, which we can do call, uh, call links or site links, I'm sorry, where we provide different, different opportunities, different ethical bribes for somebody to click through and actually come over to our landing page or come over to our website or come over to wherever we're funneling our traffic to so they can engage and ultimately be a conversion for us. So you're gonna see me embed a lot of those ethical bribes for people to take action. The goal is to put the right message in front of the right audience. And I also wanna highlight the importance for landing pages specifically with Google Ads because the budget can go can balloon very very quickly. You may be used to Facebook ads and in general Facebook ads are not as expensive. They're still a little bit undervalued. They are getting more expensive with a lot more a lot more marketers, a lot more service providers, a lot more stores, a lot more people eyeing or I'm sorry advertising to the, your specific avatar, that is driving cost up. But in Google Ads, know that it's a little bit more expensive. So it goes back to the strategies that we discussed in the first video where it depends on the keywords that we go after that 
it's going to determine a lot of our budget. So in our strategies, just to recap, and then we'll move on. The first strategy was the, the big player, so the, the, the big dog in the space, somebody that has the budget that is able to spend the $20, $50, $100 per click. Then we have the volume strategy, which is more targeting keywords that are vague, that are like real estate. Just, just that those two words, real estate, are so vague that you don't know if mar uh, real estate agents, mortgage folks, or anybody and everybody could be searching for real estate. It could be students looking for a research project. Whatever the case may be, there's not too much inten intentionality, so you have a lot of people searching for that keyword yet so i'm sorry so your search volume is going to be that much higher and the costs are going to be lower so you're targeting more of a volume game but then we have the low hanging strat low hanging fruit strategy that we're going to target today and that's what we're going to jump into so you'll see that as we're preparing now again i this is more of the messaging i wanted to just share share that with you and if you have a traditional website, I suggest that you either create a squeeze page or a landing page if you're doing a, a WordPress website or if you have landing page generators like Builderall, ClickFunnels, Instapage, Lead Pages, Lead Pops. There's so many out there. There's so many out there. What you're going to see today is ClickFunnels. I, I've been using that for all of my courses. I've been using that for my landing pages. I just want to be as local as possible and I want to cut through the noise and just get to the get to the actual message especially when I'm paying for traffic from Google Ads. So I highly encourage you to get a squeeze page, landing page or funnels, whatever terminology you're used to because you don't want to confuse the audience as soon as they click on your ad and then it takes a while for your website to load and beyond that they don't know where to navigate. You want to focus them in on your message as quickly as possible so they, so they know that an action is expected of them and they are more apt to take that action. Also, it will reduce your cost overall because you're going to have less bounce rate. So Google's going to charge you less in their auction style bidding system as you're paying for keywords. If you continue to drive traffic to a website, you may be the, the highest spender in the room, but the more bounces that you get from your website because they click through and it takes forever so they just bounce out, or they click through and they're confused and they just bounce out, so your bounce rate is going to affect your ad negatively. So your relevance score is going to reduce and ultimately you have to spend more for that same traffic. And at the end of the day, if it's just so bad, Google's just gonna it's gonna stop showing your ad altogether or show it in very in very short amount a uh, very small amount so you're not gonna you, your return is gonna be just dismal and of course the relevancy has a lot to do with it so the more congruent that you can get your landing page your your websites if you're using that and the more concise the better for you overall when it comes to ad spend, ad spend and actual conversions. And I saw, I'm sorry, I did spend a, a little bit more time than I wanted to in the messaging part, but I think it's very important because one, we're in a very min, in, we're in a mini series, so I do want to provide as much value to you as I can. This would typically take, not typically, this would take and is taking several hours in the course that I mentioned that I will be coming out in December, which goes into a lot of these into more detail. It goes into methodology, goes into strategy, it goes into actual examples that you can download and everything else like that. So I'm trying to compress as much as I can, even though every single one of these topics could be expanded into hours. So sorry about that. I would just show you a, a quick landing page, what it would look like. You can, I'm just gonna scroll through it. I'm not gonna go and drill down into the exact why I used every single one. I just wanna show you something that outside, well, I guess I will, I will share one thing. You're gonna see all of the opportunities like connect today, my email, my phone number, my email again, my 
email and phone number again. Um, this is for their CMA connect today, another opportunity for them to connect, another opportunity for them to connect, and my phone number. So I do that very strategically because I want to present as many opportunities for them to reach out to me. That's by design. I, I know it looks like it's very self-serving and things of that nature, but I am providing some key notes that they're going to look at and build enough trust with them so they can reach out to me and I want to provide as many opportunities for them to do that. Provide that phone number so all they need to do is click on that and they're on the phone with me as soon as possible. So this is a landing page that we're going to be driving people to and that's enough That's enough about that. We, um, I think we covered messaging a little bit more than I intended to but I think it's super important that we understand that we have one crack at it as you're going to see that the budget's going to grow a little bit more than you're used to because historically Google ads are a little bit more expensive than Facebook advertising. Historically. All right, now let's get into the, the second part of the video, which we're still setting the stage. We, wanted, we covered the messaging. Now we're going to cover the research portion. Where do we go to look for these famous keywords that I keep talking about? And if you don't have an account, you're going to be asked to create an account for Google Ads, formerly known as Google AdWords. They, Google Ads has is free, uh, not the actual advertising, but to create the account. So you need a Gmail account in order to get going. And once you get that, you'll have a, an AdWords account or a Google Ads account, I continue, I still have not lost that terminology, I still call it Google AdWords, but you're going to have your account ready to go, and how you get to the Keyword Planner, you're going to, once you log in, you're going to go to Tools, and the Keyword Planner is up here. Now, we're not going to go into every single column today, but in the court, if you want more information, it'll be in the course, again, it'll be dropping mid-December, if everything goes according to plan, where everything, we go into every single one of these in the detail, but due to time limitations in this mini-series, we can't necessarily do that. So you're going to see me jumping to certain points that, um, that traditionally you would, you would see me click on every single thing in order to get here. So there are a few steps that we have forgone for the sake of time, but to get to the Keyword Planner, this is where you would go. Now, the interface may be changing depending on when you see the actual, this actual video, but it's not going to change too much. Their recent overhaul, which was in beta mode for quite a while, has, um, has officially, everyone has officially made the jump over without exception. So I don't foresee this changing too much in the very near future, but they're continually tweaking things. So you're going to go to find new keywords. And what you're looking for here are keywords that as soon as somebody types, let's say real estate agent, if you were going after that keyword, that means that your ad that we're going to produce in the third video, in the, yeah, in the third video in our series, you, your ad would be showing as soon as somebody types that in. So essentially what we're looking for right here are trigger words that would put our ad in front of the the person that's searching for that. So if somebody is searching for real estate agent near me, you you target those keywords, that phrase, and only after somebody types that in will your ad show in front of them. So you're not marketing to the entire world unless you want to and you have that budget. I don't suggest that, but this is where we would this is where we're starting to do our search so as you saw there I already typed that in but real estate agent in Arlington Texas so for this video we're gonna target Arlington Texas which is in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex and you can adjust it to whatever location you want you can go by counties you can go by zips you can go by cities you can go by states countries and pretty much anything. So you see, if I was going to target the county, I would put Tarrant County, which is where Arlington is at, and you see there's the entire county and there's a subset. So 
this is a, a, a different this is a little bit different from Facebook ads because in Facebook ads you can't target by county. And if you can target by city and by zip codes, but you can't do it by by county. So it's a little bit different in that sense. If there was something that you were wanting to do that was more county oriented, you have that capability here here in Google Advertising. So I'm going to put cancel. You can select the language and then the search network which we'll get into that here a little bit later. Now as we're doing our research, we are looking for keywords that are our low hanging fruit. It goes back to the strategy that we discussed in the first video. The low hanging fruit, we're looking for those keywords or key phrases that are search, that have a high search volume and don't cost as much. So that how that will typically manifest itself is by a by a phrase or an extended keyword search an extended phrase is a better way of saying it which is essentially a long tail which is what a long tail is what it's called where the more words that you put in the more specific that that phrase is going to be so not as much volume is being driven to that so people there's a difference between People that search for real estate versus real estate agent versus real estate agent near me versus the best real estate agent near me versus and then you get the gist. So once you come here, you are getting you are getting keyword ideas. So there's 511 keyword ideas. You get to see the volume breakdown per month of of uh, if I can get this mouse to work. You see how many times it's been it's been researched. You see the spikes. You see when it's uh, searched less for for these keywords. It's it's relatively stable. Um, it, there is a slight spike here in the where are they? No, actually, it's January and February. That's where you have your bigger spikes. I would expect the summer months to be a little bit more top heavy but that's not the case so you would see the volume trends in that in that section but what you're looking for at this point is you're looking for the average monthly searches in combination with the cost on the low range and the high range so what that means is every time the average cost per click that as soon as somebody clicks on your ad on the low range it's 56 cents versus two dollars and twenty six cents so these are averages that's what you can expect to pay and it goes back to that relevance score that we were talking a little bit a little bit earlier if you are not ranking very high in relevancy score which means that you have a lot of people that are bouncing out of your website more frequently than lot than not you're gonna be on the higher range well at some point they may even stop your ads and just say not delivering because you're landing page is not promised is not delivering on the promise that you had when you were advertising so if you had a completely different message on your landing page that had nothing to do with the keywords that you bought you're wasting your money and at some point Google's just gonna cut you off altogether they're not gonna continue to collect on it because from Google standpoint they want people to use Google they don't want people to go over to Bing because their ads were garbage from the sense of I as a consumer if I see the top three ads and I click on the top three I'm gonna get frustrated and say wow this uh, this this is just not giving me what I want I'm looking for a real estate agent but then it's delivering a mortgage guy or it's delivering a for the sake of this example pizza guy or whatever so since it's, it's incongruent to what I'm looking for and my user experience is negatively impacted so that's how Google punishes or essentially cuts through that by um, cutting you off altogether so all right let's get into the practicality of it because I'm getting long-winded into the theory we're looking at the competitive marches uh, searches I'm sorry and then you see the competition on on these key key phrases and then you see the low range and the high range so we're gonna go through and we're gonna select 
a few key words, a, key, a few key phrases, so we can start building our ad in the next video. We're seeing homes for sale in Arlington, Texas. Traditionally, I would say no, I'm not gonna go after those key words, but if you're a home seller, chances are that you are either looking at your competition before you go on market, or you're looking at other homes that are for sale in your area that you may wanna purchase. So I'm not gonna, con I'm not going to completely negate this because the cost per click on the low range is not that high and then you see the high range is not that high either and the volume search is is healthy you have between 1,000 and 10,000 searches so what we're gonna do you could add it to your keyword planner add it to the plan up here I don't do that, I just like to go old school way, so I just open up a notepad and I copy it. Okay. All right, apartments in Arlington, Texas. So again, keep in mind we're targeting sellers. Apartments in Arlington, Texas, that is not something a home seller would search for so we're going to bypass that arlington texas not use not useful to us houses for sale in arlington texas very similar to the methodology up here the cost is not that high as you can see here the competition is medium as the first key phrase that we looked at and the top range is actually less expensive than this and the search volume is about the same so i do want that phrase which again, that phrase, it, every time somebody types that in, my ad would show up. Well, I'm sure, let me rephrase that. If I went in the auction, only when people type that will my ad show up. You're not going to show up 100% of the time because there is an auction style of bidding. So other people are bidding for this and you see the competition being medium. If your competition is on the lower end, there's a higher likelihood, if you're bidding enough, that you're going to show up with regularity. And in the reports, it'll show you where you're ranking in the searches, so you're able to modify your auction bidding. Again, I don't want to go into too much of that, because that's on the third video, or a limited set, but if you want more in-detail information, the course will be out in December. All right, houses for for rent in Arlington. A home seller wouldn't be asked, wouldn't be searching for that. Arlington hometowns, uh, townhomes, Keller Williams, Arlington, Texas. So there's a lot of intentionality with people that are searching for bigger brands or bigger brokerages out there. Considering that the competition is low, and the low range is here, so 38 cents on the low end, 65 cents on the high end. There's 300. Well, average monthly searches are between 100 and 1,000. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. It won't, it won't bring in, that search alone, that phrase alone, is not gonna bring in the volume that I'm seeking, but in aggregate, if I put enough keywords and key phrases in this search, I'm sorry, in this campaign, it's gonna show up with regularity. So I am interested in, in ethically stealing, the traffic of my competitors and the way the way the reason i say competitors is because i'm not with keller williams houses for sale if you are with keller williams know that you could do the same to me so <laughs> there you go uh houses for sale in arlington so they get specific in the zip code competition is high low bid range is 22 cents two dollars and eighty four cents so um competition is high i'm gonna forgo that even though it's not too expensive i want to stay with it at on the high end two dollars per click on the high end so i'm gonna forgo that show me 200 let's see what 200 looks like We'll do one more and then I'll show you two other ways that you can do this research.
One of them is super quick, but it just requires a Chrome extension, but it's super quick. Okay. Here's what we'll do. Let's go back up. We're going to switch out so you see what it looks like. You need to X out here and then enter a key phrase that you're looking for. I want to see if there's people that are searching for how to sell my house. I want to see the results that we get. How do you sell your house? You see that it's not searched too much. So the average monthly search is very minimal. There's no competition. That means it's just so rare that there's no, there's no competition for it. Those freebies, is, it's not free, but those inexpensive keywords, I want all day long because I just stack them upon my searches. What will my house sell for? That sounds very intentional to me. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to stack it. Or I'm not going to do that. What am I? Tips for selling your home. You see the competition is quite high in that. Homes for sale by owner. You see the competition is high on that. How to get your home sold quickly. I don't see much competition. And I want that. And then I would go through it. You get the gist on that. So I'm stacking these up so then I can input them into my search criteria or into the auction when we're running an ad. So I will stop doing that for now. I'll show you the other two ways that you can do this keyword research. Again, we're setting the foundation so then when we create the ad, it's, it goes much quicker and we know which keywords to target because we've done our research. We're going to go to real estate agent in Arlington. And you're going to see who's advertising in this area. So you see that this agent is advertising. UpNest is more of a directory. Top agent ranked. Again, it's more of a directory, so it's not a brokerage. Homezini, same thing. It's those, it's those folks that have big pockets and are purchasing as much real estate as possible so then they can funnel their leads to actual real estate agents. Not interested in that. I am interested in competing against those because I typically win. <laughs> so what you're going to do is search in a general, in just go into Google search. You're going to go at the very bottom and you're going to get keyword ideas. Very similar to what we just did in, in our keyword planner. You're going to see the various ways or various common phrases that are searched. So you see real estate companies in Arlington, Texas. Don't look at this right now because that's our third way. This comes via a Chrome extension. It's free, but it requires a download and a key input um, that, anyway, we'll get into that here in a bit. So you see top real estate agents in Arlington, Arlington, Texas, Arlington Realtors, real estate agent salary, realtor, uh, Arlington, Texas, Arlington, Texas Realtors, real estate agents near me. So you see different related searches, very similar to what you saw in the keyword planner. The downside to this is you don't have competition information, you don't have monthly search volume, you don't have the low range or high range, you don't necessarily have too much data outside of general terms that are related to what you just input. So that helps, but helps in a broad way. It just gives you different ideas. This helps a lot if you're trying to rank YouTube videos, but not for the purposes of paying for actual searches or phrases because one of these phrases could actually be $30 a pop and you just don't know. What you see over here and on the right hand side is called keywords everywhere. 
That is a Chrome extension. It is free. Now, you will have to do, it's, it's not complicated to download. You just download, but it does need to deliver a, a key when you're downloading it. It'll send you an email. You have to put a certain key into your Chrome extension for it to work. The details are in as are in the are in the web store and are in the email that you get. Know that you do have to give your email, but at no point will they ask you for money. It's just um, it's just the price of doing business, which is that email. And ever since I downloaded it, I haven't gotten I haven't gotten a promotion off of it or anything else like that. It's free. They haven't marketed to me. In any other way, they just sent me that one email to download, and that's all I've seen from them. So, check them out. The reason I like them so much, though, is because I don't even have to go to Keyword Planner. I can just, you see, real estate agents in Arlington, as you saw me type that in. And then you get the very same information on the right-hand side versus this, versus coming into Keyword Planner and searching that way. So you see real estate agent salary. It's not what I'm looking for. That a real estate, a somebody that's trying to sell their home is not looking for that. Real estate agents near me. Now that does pique my attention. However, I see that the cost per click is about 10 bucks. And the competition, if it's below 50, it means low. If it's uh, above 50, it's going to be in the fifth in the medium. And I believe it's 0.75 before it gets to a high. Com competition I want to say that that's right so it's right here so that's the only difference it scales from 0 to 1 the higher it is to 1 right here the more competitive that keyword is Arlington Texas Realtors the volume is not as high the cost per click is not as high as that and the competition is a little bit was a little bit heavy right now real estate companies Arlington Texas that does pique my attention because that shows some intentionality from this could actually bring in sellers and bring in buyers but at the at the volume it's not that high volume so it's about one per month cost per click is not that high I would actually pick this keyword up if I haven't already All right, now you can type in different variations. So you saw that it went through real estate companies, Arlington, Texas. Now it showed the same one here, but homes in Arlington, Texas for rent, not something I'm interested in. Realtor in Arlington, Texas. I might be tempted to go after that if I don't get enough volume in my in my original search as we're as we're searching through, but. For the sake of time, this is what you're doing when you're setting up your plan. This is what you're doing to get enough keywords that have enough search volume and that are not expensive or as expensive as others. So these are your low hanging fruit. The bigger boys, they can purchase the bigger boys or the bigger girls, if we want to be politically correct. The bigger players in the space have the budget to purchase as many keywords as they want the very competitive keywords that are out there, they can go after those and they can pay the $20, $50, $100 per click. I can't necessarily do that. And then, then the volume, I am actually very keen on the volume strategy, but for the sake of this video, you won't be seeing that. Again, going, I hate to continue to reference the Google Ads uh, course, but know that the volume strategy, there is a lot of, benefits to it but for the sake of time we're not going to cover the volume strategy the low hanging fruit is what we're deploying right now now again you're going to see that all of these together will add up to several hundred several thousand searches per month and it'll keep you busy enough where we're as soon as we're building our ad we're going to put enough landmines in our ad that's going to evoke people clicking through and actually submitting their information to us or just giving us a call straight out. 
So that is the second video. The third video should be somewhere in the in cards or the little bar that you're gonna see above here somewhere. Look out for that third video. That's where we actually start creating the ad. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification button. We're just getting started and I'll see you in the next video.